Let's talk about the strap cutter a little bit first of all. If you're just buying one for the first time, it comes like this, which to me is very obvious what it does, but then I play with them all the time. You set, this has a little hole in it, mates up with the, the screw that's in here. You just set that down. This part can be slightly annoying, but you only have to do it once, so you don't have to worry about it. And the unit goes so that the ruler is facing the handle. And we tighten that up a little bit. And that's how it goes together. That's the first part. There are quite a few adjustments here you can make, but normally once they're set, you're good. The blade in here goes in between these two little slots on both sides, and the screws in the top hold it in place. So to insert a blade, you loosen these up a little bit. They're captive. Unless you keep going forever, they'll stay in there. You loosen them up a bit. The blade can then be slid into these slots, or the old one slid out and the new one slid in in case of replacement. And you make sure for safety that obviously the blade is not sticking out of either one of these slots. It's a surefire way to get yourself into the emergency room of the hospital. The back end of this has an adjustment so you can make this wider or narrower. Again, pretty much when you have it set up for most of the leather you work with, you're good. We normally work with fairly heavy leather, so you'll notice that we have quite a gap here. If we're working with lighter weight leather, I'd bring this together some. It also is sometimes necessary if you're working with very light leather that the blade can't be made to stay outside of these slots. In that case, you take yourself a pair of nippers, or as they're sometimes called dykes, and you break the, uh, sh the sharp part of the blade out that's sticking out. And that's the way it goes together. The ruler guide is on the bottom side. And let's cut a strap. Normally this is used for cutting straps off of a hide of leather. Clearly in a close-up video like this, I can't lay an entire hide of leather and then you wouldn't be able to see anything if we shot it that wide. So we're gonna take a strip that we've already cut with this and we're just gonna cut it down to a little bit smaller. The first thing you wanna decide is your size, obviously. Now the tool itself is does have a, a scale on it, but it's not super accurate, it's close. But the best way we've found to do it is to just put it to the mark that you want. In this case, I'm marking it for one inch and lightly tighten the screw. Once you've lightly tightened the screw, take your ruler, rusted, we're in Florida, everything rusts, and check the alignment with an actual ruler. In this case, I'm probably just the tiniest bit too narrow, just a gentle tap, and that's perfectly one inch. Now tighten it down nice and tight. And all you have to worry about is staying on the flat surface on both the top and the bottom of the cutter. Just simply slide it in. You notice now it's touching on both sides, it's touching on the top and the bottom and continue sliding. If this was a hide of leather, you'd just be pulling it down through the entire hide. And in a matter of seconds, you have a perfectly cut strap of leather. 